Welcome back, trainers, and we're going to be getting an event revolving around the joke that is Go Battle. I mean, the eSport Ready Go Battle League, and it is actually going to be a pretty good event. So let's go ahead and see here. It's going to be starting August 18th until August 23rd, local time in which you're going to be seeing a special research task, and you're going to get an Elite Quick TM, an Elite Charge TM, and many other goodies here. Let's go ahead and see what we have, including Pokemon's Community Days, in which you're going to be able to just simply evolve them, one being Metagross. We'll go over that here in a minute. Let's go ahead and take a look at what you can expect to see in raids, in the wild, and in field research tasks. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about Zacian and Zamazenta. So those are going to be in the raids from August 18th until the 31st. Then you're going to have the Mega Slowbro from August 18th until the 25th. You want to do Zacian raids, okay? It's just the way it is. If you're not into PvP, I guess you can not do them, but uh, <laughs> you still want to kind of do that. Taking a look at the one-star raids. Okay, you got some preferences. It's really up to what you want to do. Field research tasks, we're going to be going over this again. Just wanted to bring you a quick image here. And of course, these are done by the Legends and G2G Media. Link in the description. So for Go Battle League, you're going to be able to do 10 sets, which is going to be 50 battles. And you're going to be getting three times Stardust. So make sure you turn on a star piece. You don't want to miss that extra dust. And you're also going to be seeing featured avatar items. Now, taking a look at the Pokemon that are going to be able to receive their Community Day moves, you got Rhyperior, Gengar, Gyarados, Metagross, and Talonflame. They're all amazing. I mean, if there was one that I can say that was the least that you would want out of all of them, I would say maybe Gengar, because that's the one you're going to be using the least in Go Battle League. Gyarados is frequently used. Talonflame is very much used. Rhyperior is going to be a double-edged sword for raids and PvP. We'll talk about that. Or, yeah, raids and PvP. And Metagross is just a must. Now, going over the bonuses here. Now, you're going to be able to do 50 battles in one day. And over the course of a couple of days, that's going to be quite a few battles and quite a few Stardust. Three times Stardust for Go Battle League win rewards. So whenever you see those Stardust rewards, you're going to be getting three times that. If you have a Star Piece on, well, you're going to be getting even more. So I highly urge you to put those on. Once you're about to collect it, you don't need to start it up right when you do your battles. Just make sure you remember to put that on when you do collect those uh, Stardust Rewards. Taking a look at the timed research, you're going to be able to get a World Champion Pikachu, which I don't care anymore. <laughs> you're also going to get a Fast Elite TM and an Elite Charge TM, which is always worth it. People keep asking, how do you get all those? Because I, I buy the boxes every time and I collect the challenges every time and I don't use them like crazy. So for Incinerate, you have yeah, this one strictly for PvP. I mean, you can use it for raids, but you're basically for using a Talonflame for PvP. Take a look at Metagross. 100% you want to go for this. This could be used for both PvP and raiding, specifically raiding. Metagross in Go Battle League Master League is going to be amazing. Don't miss it. Gyarados, Aqua Tail, another good one here for a spammy move. Instead of hitting them with, you know, a Crunch or a Hydro Pump, you're going to be able to hit them with a Stab Aqua Tail. Gengar, I know I said it was going to be the one that you don't want the most, but it is still going to be definitely useful because you don't want to get stuck in the water in PvP with Shadow Ball and Sludge Bomb. Shadow Punch is going to be giving you some coverage there for those bait moves. And then Rhyperior Rock Wrecker is going to be good for raids and PvP. It's very difficult to use in PvP, all right, but it is going to be a great rock type attacker. Now, the following Pokemon that are going to be appearing in the wild, you definitely, this is a, <laughs> these PvP events are always lit. They, they really want it to take off. Everything in the wild that's spawning is good. I mean, Mankey, eh, Brian Maper's all right, but um, yeah, no, everything's amazing. So catch them up, folks. And then for the field research task, you're going to be seeing, again, the Pokemon that are going to be, you know, having community days. Other than Galarian, Stunfisk, obviously, that's not one. I'm trying to get a good write on. I want to, I, I got a project. Got a project that I want to do, so hopefully I'm going to be able to get a good one. If I can get a Shunda, woo! Oh, I got some treats. If I can actually get that, I'll do some giveaways. How about that? It's not going to happen. I'm not going to get it, but you never know. So make sure you go out there and get those field research tasks looking pretty good. This event is juicy, folks. So juicy. Now, taking a look at my inventory collection for the Pokemon that are going to be able to evolve and receive their community day during the times given in the beginning of this video, and you just simply evolve them, and they'll get their community day move. Now, I would show you my best Metagross, but it is still in a gym in Arizona. And I don't want to show you what gym it is because I have a feeling it's going to be there for a while. And I really don't care if it's going to be my level 50 Metagross because I got these like crazy. Shadow Metagross, folks, it is outperforming regular Metagross when it comes down to rates as far as damage. Even a 0% IV one is still going to be able to damage output a regular one and not damage times TDO, you know, the longevity. 
Gengar, Shadow Punch. If you're into it, you definitely want it. If you have some Gastly's, definitely evolve them. I didn't mean by, it's not good. It's just the least out of all of them that you probably do want because again, people are not really using Gengar in Go Battle League like they usually do for other Pokemon that we see here. Also, Psychic is a legendary or a legacy move from the ratings back in the day. Aqua Tail and Gyarados, you want it. Simple as that. I mean, it's not too big of a deal to talk about it. I mean, it's not like, ah, uh, what should I do? Make it or not? I mean, just evolve it. Magikarp, it's no big deal. Rhyperior, if you don't have any, make some. If you had a good one on standby that you caught between community days, make one. I don't urge you to use an Elite TM. Simply evolve them. If you got a 100 that you evolved and it doesn't have a community day for whatever reason, then go ahead and do what you got to do. But this is going to be something amazing. You don't want to miss these free evolutions to get these community day moves because these things are amazing. They're putting in all the really good ones here. That's not to say that the other ones that we are getting are not great, but these are definitely key points here that you do want to evolve. Now, taking a look at their pre-evolutions here, I don't think I'm really going to be evolving any. As you can see, my inventory is absolutely stacked for all of these Pokemon and their community day moves because we're just that good. As far as Talonflame and having a bunch of multiple of those, I'm not going to have that many because you don't really need them. For the most part, a lot of these are duplicates because of Gengar, when the game first came out, the best ghost type attacker just hits like a truck. Metagross, you just want a bunch. Rhyperior, also a great rock type attacker and... Top 10 favorite Pokemon. It just looks so awesome. Looks like it's wearing like a bulletproof vest or something like that. Uh, Gyarados is just great. I mean, you know, I got this one. This is probably the only thing I'll evolve. The Shadow Magikarp. There you go. That's what I'm going to evolve. That's it. I already, I'm stacked. I don't need to evolve these Beldum because I don't need any more Shadow Metagross. And I'm thinking, what if it gets another community day? You never know. I'm just saying. Anyways, if you did enjoy this news update video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on and I'll be catching you all next time. Take care. Hey, so you're finally here! <laughs> Fantastic!